G'day, Stephen Blayford is my name. I'm CEO of Australian Sheepskin Apparel located in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Canada. In this session we're going to be talking about venous and arterial insufficiency in the limb, which is simply a lack of blood flow going to the limb or a lack of blood flow coming away from the limb. This problem creates all sorts of um, anomalies within the limbs of uh, people suffering with diabetes and such, in that the lack of blood flow creates a, um, a retention of moisture content within the skin tissue itself, which helps to cause the limb to swell, known as edema in, in the leg. You start to notice puffiness on the top of the foot and the calves and so on start to swell. Along with that, getting a lack of blood flow going to the outer layers of skin tissue, um, we end up with wounds like cellulitis and so on, which is a blistering uh, formation of skin tissue on the front of the shin and sometimes forms on the, uh, the feet and such and is quite a difficult problem to arrest or get rid of. We're also going to show you the use of Australian Medical Sheepskin uh, in this trial with this gentleman to show the effect of healing wounds and also reducing the swelling or the edema in the limb simply by maintaining standard limb temperature with the sheepskin boot. You can see in this first photograph here we've got the long split boot. The purpose of this boot is that you can see the large toe design which enables room for the foot to fit in that's got the swelling on top of the foot and it also allows for a lot of adjustment up and down the calf so that as the swelling starts to come down with the use of the boot you can readjust that boot so that it becomes smaller and smaller to accommodate the, the limb size without having to utilize another different size boot. So it's very effective in that regard. Now that boot then becomes the cover dressing so to speak for the 5x5 five five disposable wound dressings that were utilised on the wound or the cellulitis on the front of this man's shin. Those dressings were simply held in place with cling wrap and they were changed minimum once, day, minimum once daily or once in the morning, once at night because there is a lot of extra date or moisture content comes from these wounds that will be absorbed by the Australian Medical Sheepskin Sheep's Hall Wound Dressing. Uh, by January, these, and now these photographs are very graphic in nature so viewer discretion is advised. Uh, with these, and uh, but you are going to see exactly how sheepskin therapy works as a treatment for these pre-existing wounds. You can see here on January 5th that uh, there's a, a massive amount of redness and blistering occurring. This is the wound on the front of the shin that was brought on by venous or arterial insufficiency or a lack of blood flow getting into that area of, of the tissue. And this, had, as we as uh, we, we know, this has been pre-existing for approximately three years on this gentleman creating a massive amount of torment for him. The sheepskin boot was applied along with the dressings directly to the wound site itself and you can see here by January 9th, four days later, the redness is already starting to abate. We did also notice that the blistering uh, was starting to dry up. It wasn't anywhere near as moist because of the amount of absorption that the sheep's oil wound dressing creates. And as we continue on through to January 29th, you can see here that uh, the, the redness in, the, in the, the leg is abated dramatically and we can see those little wounds there that have got those little white crusts all the way around them. That means that those, that necrotic tissue or those, that wound covering is getting ready to self-slough, which means that it will fall away completely by itself. You can also see here by February 3rd that we're almost back to normal skin turgor at this point. There's only a couple of tiny little wounds there and the skin tissue is back to its normal colour pretty well. And we can see by uh, February 15th that there was only two little wounds on the outside we were on the, that were on the outer edge of where the sheepskin uh, actually was and those, those little wounds did abate very, very quickly as well. This man was a renal sufferer and he missed a couple of dialysis treatments and was put into acute care. When he did, he was in acute care for a little while there, they weren't using the sheepskin therapy with him in acute care and you can see what happened to the limb. Everything started getting angry, everything started going in reverse again. So upon discharge he was then put back with the, uh, the sheepskin therapy, the, wound, uh, the dressings were changed on a very regular basis and you can see there that by March 21st that leg was back to, back to normal. The swelling is completely gone the wound is completely gone. And the reason for that is that the long split boot has maintained that limb temperature at 37 degrees centigrade. When we do that, we optimize blood flow to the limb. It is a known fact. We've also utilized the disposable sheep's oil wound dressings to take care of the, blood, the, the moisture content coming from the wound and allowing blood to flow into that tissue behind 
uh, that moisture that is leaving the wound. So as we create a constant flow of moisture content coming from the wound, we create a constant flow of supply of blood to that wound behind that tissue. As we've said in earlier sessions as well, that blood flow also has the antibiotic in it to help fight infection along with the white blood cells, your protein cells, your oxygen cells and so on. All of those components combined are what created this situation in this leg. I hope you've learned a lot from this session and if you'd like to, like to ask any more questions you can email us at Australian Sheepskin Apparel at Shawbiz and or you can uh, go onto our website at australianmedicalsheepskins.com. Thank you.